Hey, welcome back to the Monday Tech Minute. I believe our students get really excited when they can create something that's really nice and that they can show off to family and friends. So I want you to check out this website called storybird.com. Your students can create great looking eBooks and then can even purchase them online after creating them. So let's dive in, go ahead and create your free account and let's walk through the interface. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is head into the studio. You can add students in there or just like Google Classroom, you can give them the option to type in a class code and join. Parents can also use that same code as a password along with the link and access their students material that they created in class. Uh, if you want every student to work on the same thing, you have the option to create an assignment. And then finally, you have a classroom library with all the stories that you and your students curate and keep there and you can share those along. Uh, so let's go into create and see what you can do. You have three different options to do a picture book, uh, which might be better for some of our primary elementary students. Uh, moving on to a long form story uh, or even poetry. Uh, so let's take a look at a couple different examples. So we'll go over here to read and uh, check out some of these short stories. Now all the artwork is included in Storybird and so your students don't have to create this but they can use it as a writing prompt. So again this is some great looking pictures and images that your students can use to go ahead and get excited and create some great looking ebooks.